Hi, I'm Echo with Echoes of Nature, and in just a couple of moments, we will start uh, with our Ambassador Chinchilla today, and then go to our South American craft. Uh, so if you have any questions you'd like to ask, or anything you'd like to share, you can start posting those now, and we'll take a look at them. But just hang on, give us a couple moments so we can make sure other folks are on as well and while we're waiting some of the materials you might want to gather would be construction paper scissors and glue would be the basics um, the shapes that I'm doing today are found on the Chesapeake Arts Center website as well as will be on our echoes of nature dot org website and here are the two URLs. I know they are on the Chesapeake Art Center one right now, and ours will be on in a little bit. And if you've come on and you don't know us, we are a nonprofit educational organization that works with live animals in our education programs. We have over 100 animal ambassadors that we care for most of which come from shelters and rescues. We work with both native and non-native species. And we will be doing a summer camp at the Chesapeake Art Center with, our program is called Animal and Art. And each day this year, we're doing a different country. So I'm giving you a little bit of taste of what we're doing for summer camp with at least one animal today and a craft and during the camps we'll do even more than that as well as games uh, you'll also be doing art with Mary Ann so half the day is with us half the day will be with Mary Ann from the Chesapeake Art Center and so I'm gonna bring out now our chinchilla this is our, our Smokey he's a young chinchilla No, not that. Do you like this treat? Say no. See, I'm not in my right area. I don't want to eat a treat. So this is Chinchilla. This one's Smokey. He's our youngest of our three individuals that we currently have. He's probably about two at this point. Our other two chill Chinchillas are brothers, and they are at 14 years of age. So when you take a look at Chinchilla, you might notice right off he's got really long whiskers. Just like a cat, he uses those whiskers to help him feel around. And those big round ears, he has awesome hearing. And if you know someone that needs a hearing aid or other hearing help, you can thank chinchillas. Their ear systems are used for study for that. They hear higher than we do and lower than we do. So he is an herbivore, so he eats only plants. We feed him a high quality chinchilla food diet as well as hay, and usually he likes to eat the dried papaya fruit or get into the peanut, but he's a little unsure of what room he's in today. He's in a different room. So he's got awesome little feet. He is in the rodent family, but unlike a squirrel, a mouse, he doesn't have those little sharp claws that help him to climb. His claws are more like our fingernails. They're rounded. And that helps them when they're leaping and jumping. These animals are, na excuse me, are native to the Andes Mountains of South America. They are critically endangered in the wild. However, you will still find them in the pet trade. And they're very, very common in the pet trade. And currently... If you went to South America, you'd only find these guys on the Chilean side of the Andes Mountains. Those big eyes, better to see you with. That long tail that he's going to use to help him to balance as he's leaping and jumping. And we do have a question. Okay. Zoe, age six, would like to know if chinchillas are uh, found in any other colors than gray. They are found in other colors than gray in the pet trade. In the wild, this would be a more natural color, 
but in the pet trade you can find solid black a lighter gray there's one that's called a siamese so like a siamese cat they've got the little colors on the ears and right on the nose um there are pale ones that they call um i don't think it's silver i can't remember uh, and there are albino ones so they do come in different colors within the pet trade but in the wild this would be a more natural color awesome question so his fur coat if you could touch him right now it is the softest thing ever they have a really really soft coat it's been described to me by kids that it feels like they're touching a cloud it's so soft and fluffy or what they would imagine a cloud would feel like later today when you're brushing or combing your hair follow one of your hairs down to the follicle where the hole where your hair grows out of we have one to two hairs per follicle but if you were a chinchilla you could have 40 or more hairs per follicle so of the land mammals they have the densest fur coat and we don't give him a water bath he requires a dust bath water baths actually make his fur not up and I can't brush his fur if I brushed his fur he'd I'd have a very bald chinchilla and that's because their hairs are designed to be loosely attached imagine if you were an animal and a hawk came maybe you were a rabbit and a hawk came and grabbed your hair it's gonna stick if you've ever if you've got brothers or sisters that pull your hair sometimes you, you kind of go along with it as they're pulling but if you were a chinchilla if you got grabbed on your fur coat and not down into the skin that predator would only have a mouthful or a talon full of fur because it's much better to have a bald spot than to be dinner the bald spot will refill and having that thick fur coat if you can imagine the Andes mountains are very very cold oh, and he's, he yawned for you so <laughs> uh, he is awesome at leaping and jumping I bet some of you are really awesome jumpers and you can try jumping and see if you can jump as high as a chinchilla later he can jump for sure three feet high because they leap out of our, our playpen sometimes when we have them out and then then we have fun chasing him around I've read from scientists that they can jump five feet so if I stood up I'm a little over five feet tall he would be able to jump as high as I am tall and he's this small animal that doesn't weigh super much he weighs maybe about two to three pounds oh and you're getting a nice close-up on him so any other chinchilla questions all right well I'm gonna put him back and I hope he gets to meet you guys later so you can actually pet him and really feel how soft that fur coat really is all right so because we're in South America today we're going to do an adaptation on a fabric craft if you look up uh, Mola M-O-L-A you'll find some really pretty pictures of fabric molas and essentially it's layering of different color fabrics to make a pattern and if you were a South American usually it's the women that are doing the fabric sewing if you were doing this you would use a very very fine needle to stitch under each of the fabric edges and it looks invisible I would not have the patience for that nor the talent but they still do that art today and it is really incredible looking so I'm going to share with you some of what I'm talking about so the molas were usually are done in two to seven layers and you might have shapes like stars that then you would shrink down in size 
to the next size. And Griffin did this one earlier this week. So he did an orange large star, a purple medium star, and a light blue um, small star. And then I also did these in a different pattern where I created a dolphin picture with the dolphin leaping out of the waves at night under the stars. So my dolphin, I have four shapes that are shown on our worksheets or our activity sheets. And I did them in different colors and layered them on top. I freehanded my ocean waves and the stars, I used the shapes to make a template on my construction paper and then cut out several, I can cut out four usually with no problem when I fold the paper over and cut out four stars. So that's, I have some extra stars. So that's one of them. Griffin also cut out his dolphins and then them in different color patterns, but then you can make as many dolphins as you like or whatever kind of story you like to have with it. And then sometimes these pictures would show stories or a particular animal that was in the region. So in South America, you would find the Pink River Dolphins, which are really cool. They are the freshwater dolphins that are kind of pinkish in color. Also, there are some basic shapes and these you can freehand or design yourself. I just did some and then printed it out. So I have, I took a basic outline, colored it, cut it out. I put it on my background. I outlined it with black so it looks like there's another fabric color underneath. And then I added the different shapes for pattern. So I have his eye, I have the patterns on his scales, and I have lunch swimming around with the little fish around it. And you don't have to use paper. You can be as creative as you like. You can do leaves, acorn cups and stack them. I have some foam stickers that I used for the stars and some foam shapes that I cut out circles and the popsicle sticks. I have both large and small. So I made an abstract car. So very pointy, not very aerodynamic, but cool to make. This one I did need glue, Elmer's glue, because glue stick will not hold the, uh, the wooden parts together. So I hope you find some cool shapes either from what we provided or what you would like to do. Make sure you, do, you have a large and at least a medium or a large, medium, small, or if you wanna get really creative and go up to seven. But two or three work really well. Use your imagination, use some really bright colors. Maybe make up a story that's going along with your picture and then you can write about it or share it with a family member. We would love to see your designs and I hope you post them on our pages and that'll be awesome. And again, you can find those uh, links and crafts on the Chesapeake Art Center website and will also be posted up on our echoesofnature.org website. Are there any other questions or comments? All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today. Thank you for joining us to meet with Ambassador Chinchilla and learning a little bit about the South American fabric art, the MOLA. I do encourage you to take a look up on online and look up MOLAs and see some of the really awesome designs and maybe that'll spark some interest or creativity beyond what I've shown you here and we do have the basic shapes for you to at least get started. I hope you've had fun and we'll see you next time and hopefully we'll see you for summer camp or at the arts festival. Thanks so much!
बाय